So this lady is having her second baby. She's just come in and, and she was examined by the midwife and she's fully dilated. So the baby just needs to descend a little bit more and then she'll be ready to have a baby. So we're just waiting for that. <laughs> Maternal mortality rate in Tanzania is very high. It's uh, one of the higher rates in the world. So for example, in Canada, um, in one year, about 42 women die of childbirth related causes, so less than one a week. Whereas in Tanzania, the rate is much, much higher, and uh, roughly uh, one woman dies every hour in Tanzania because of childbirth. Unfortunately, in Tanzania, there's been no decrease in the maternal mortality rate in the last 10 years, and the major reason for that is lack of access to uh, quality healthcare facilities. In Tanzania, the rate of home birth is very high, so it's close to 50%. Um, in this area, Roria district of um, Tanzania, it's as high as 60% of women delivering outside of a healthcare institution. <laughs> One of the main causes of, of uh, death from childbirth is bleeding, and the second main cause is infection. PPH is postpartum hemorrhage, which means the bleeding much after delivery. Uh, he's saying that uh, this mother, she, when she was having labor, she delivered at home. And when she delivered, she started bleeding right away before the placenta came out. So it was too much and then they sent her to Masonga dispensary. So the staff of Masonga dispensary didn't manage as she reached she left the hospital. She didn't take time, she was bleeding too much and then she died. When the mother dies, there can be a catastrophic effect on the family, in particular for the children. Obviously, there's a lot of emotional loss there, but in addition to that, the, the remaining children may uh, lack the care that they require to survive, and there's no question that um, the rate of child mortality and morbidity goes up once their mother is, is deceased. There are several determinants or several problem challenges, especially on the first is infrastructure, if you look for our uh, road, there's a lot of difficulties. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes there's a, a problem to reach a place because of the problem of infrastructure. Because mothers are living far away, and sometimes there is no transport. Sometimes they lack ma money, so they deliver at the homes, and then they, there is PPH and they die. Another thing is the issue of human resource, that there's a big shortage of uh, skilled personnel, like nurse midwives, who are supposed to assist the delivery of the, the women. This project is called Saving Mothers, and the purpose of the project is to look at the feasibility of distributing uh, two medications, misoprostol, which is a medication that can be used um, to treat bleeding after childbirth, but in this case we're using it to prevent bleeding after childbirth and an antibiotic called erythromycin, which we're giving one dose to women who've delivered to prevent uh, infection after childbirth. The nice thing about misoprostol is it doesn't require refrigeration, it can be taken orally, so it's very easy to manage and can be self-administered, in fact. But the misoprostol is easy, safety, easy to administer, and also erythromycin, which is a, one of the good drug for uh, prevention of infection. So we have a wonderful research team. They're going to do what's called a verbal autopsy, which means to survey family members of women who've died in childbirth over the last five years. Once the, the medication has been administered and the women have taken it, they're going to survey these women and then they will interview a select number of these women. They will also interview dispensary nurses who are involved in, in deliveries where the medication's been used and also traditional birth attendants who have attended deliveries where the medication has been used. They were selected or appointed a place where there is really high demand and a big need because the, the ma maternal mortality rate here is high. Thank you, Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> My long term hope is that the Tanzanian government would see the benefit of having misoprostol available to all women delivering in rural settings, particularly in the home setting or in a dispensary setting where other medications aren't available because I think this could have a major impact on maternal mortality. This is wonderful. I'm sure their big change will be a reduction of maternal death in this community. Yeah.